Hi folks and congratulations on the purchase of your new MDC caravan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and pack down the kitchen and run you through the electrical on the XT11. Setting up the kitchen is nice and simple. Open up the hatch and what you'll find is the kitchen has two locking mechanisms. One on the right here is the lock on the slide itself. The other one is this pad bolt. First you want to do is raise the pad bolt, lift it up, turn it 90 degrees, then release it, and it'll sit on the little ledge here and won't go back down into its position. Then grab the kitchen from this top handle, the one that's mounted to the body, press down the blue tab and slide it out. Underneath this kitchen is a leg support assembly. Now what we do is slide the pad bolt back on that, lower it down and adjust the legs. Now we can raise our dish rack. Once you bring the dish rack out, it'll pivot like that. At the bottom here is a little arm to secure that and lock it into place. What you do is just slide the eye of that onto the pin on this rack, now that's secure. Either side is a little hook latch. Roll that over and it fits into a hole at the back of the kitchen. Do that on both sides. Now the dish rack's secure and ready to use. Now we can open up the gas cooktop. The cooktop has a windshield around it. So once we raise it up, we take out the wing panels on the windshield and bring them around and put them into place. On the bottom of this panel is a little dowel and that fits into a hole just beside the cooktop. Do that on both sides. Now we can connect up the gas and the water. The gas and water hoses are packed into the back of the kitchen. There's an oval hole either end, which enables you to get the hoses out ready to plug in. The gas connects to this bayonet fitting here. My tip is don't turn the gas bottles on until after you've connected these. That way you won't have gas pressure behind the bayonet, making it hard to fit. Push the bayonet in, line up the slots, push it in and turn it to the right it's now locked into place. Now we can connect our water hoses. The water hoses are a snap fitting. The two fittings are underneath here. We have cold water at the bottom, hot water at the top on this one. You can tell by the color of the hoses running into these female fittings. To connect them up, you need to push the collar back on the female fitting and plug the male fitting in. Same for both and we're done, water's connected up. When disconnecting the gas and the water, I start with the water. To disconnect the hoses and make sure your water pump's switched off, push the collar back and simply pull the hose fitting out. Do that for both. Now the hoses can be stowed back into their position in the back of the kitchen. For the gas, what you wanna do is turn the gas bottles off first, then release the gas pressure through the cooktop. That way there's no pressure behind the bayonet fitting, makes it a lot easier to disconnect. Simply push it in, turn it to the left, and out it comes. Now the hose can be rolled and stowed in the back of the kitchen as well. Packing down the kitchen, start with the wing panels on the wind deflector. Slot them into their spot at the back there. Now we can pack up our dish rack take the little toggle off the back there, then remove the hooks at the back and fold it down. All in place now, we just need to raise the legs up. Undo the wing nut and slide both legs up. Now fold it up underneath and use the pad bolt to lock it into place. Before you slide it away, make sure your pad bolt's still in the up position. Then depress the blue tab and slide the kitchen in. As it gets near the end, give it a nudge. Make sure that it's locked in on the slide. Fold your handles down and replace the pad bolt to its original position. 
lift it slightly, turn it 90 degrees and drop it in. The kitchen's now secure and locked away. Close up our hatch and we're ready to roll. The electrical control panel for the XT11 is just inside the door on the right hand side. All the main controls you'll need to use are located right here. I'll run you through them. On the control panel, the main function you need to know is this one here. It's the main isolation switch. If you turn that on, it will activate 12 volt power right through each system. When you turn it off, you'll still be able to charge via the Anderson plug from your car and your solar panels will still charge the batteries. From there, we go just above are our 12 volt sockets. They're a cigarette lighter socket. Next to that is our stereo system. And below that, our main switch panel. The switch panel is comprised of rocker switches and circuit breakers. Each one is labelled for which circuit it looks after. If one of your circuits goes down, come to this panel and the circuit breaker will likely be the cause and enable you to reset it. Across the rocker switches here, just switch on each system that you need. Below that are our three water tank level gauges. When switched on, they will tell you the level in each of your water tanks. Just beside that here is our switch to activate and retract the awning. Beside that, the red switch is your water pump switch. Over here in the corner is our voltage and amp gauge. The voltage will tell you the state of charge of the battery and the amps will tell you how many amps you're using while you're running any of the systems in the caravan. It won't, however, tell you how many amps are going in under charge. Above that are our switches to isolate the outside speakers and the step light. And above that, our 240 volt power outlets, which will be active when you're plugged in the mains power. There you go, folks. That's how easy it is to set up, pack down the kitchen and use the electrics on your XT11. For more information, go to marketdirect.com.au and check out the other YouTube videos, the setup, the pack up and the handover videos on our YouTube channel.